Alrighty guys, welcome back to the farm, and well, I'm kind of redoing things here, so there's going to be a little bit of a progression that you guys didn't see, but I'll explain all that here in a little bit. I'm going to try something different. Uh, the original idea was, let me get back into logging, and I'll show you. It was, no, it was in miscellaneous, wasn't it? That's, uh, here it is. I tried this thing here. Just couldn't get the controls to work right for me, so I said, you know what, screw it, gone done got rid of it if you guys want to try it knock yourselves out i'll have it down in the link or i will link in the description for you but uh yeah i i couldn't get to work i mean this is a nice versatile machine it's got a lot of options here for you but i decided to go a different route and i got this guy this is an fdr bucksaw and what this is basically is, is you grab it by the crane here, you drop it on the platform here, you turn on the saw, and it folds in and out, and it cuts the logs, and there you go. The table, the deck here is extendable, so you can cut it to whatever length you want. I don't, I'm going to get into it right now, I don't think it tells you how long you're cutting. Yeah, that's the only downside, it doesn't tell you how long your cut is. But, trial and error, I guess, you could probably look at it as. But, it, it is a regular tractor trailer here, so you can go ahead and hook it up to a truck, which I already have. And then you can just detach a truck and then park that off to the side. This thing runs on its own. Um, yeah, it doesn't need fuel from what I can tell. Let me see if I can get back in. I did not notice. Oh, it does. 549 liters is what it's got. Okay, good. So, also... I picked up this case. Actually, this is the case I used to finish off over at Wright Farm. This is the one that will stay over at Wright Farm. And I got the grappler for it. Yeah, you guys can go with a skitter. I think this is easier right now. Uh, I do have a deer over there with the log fork on it as well. But the logs, are as they are, are too long. So, figured, what the hell, why not? Let's just go this route. Does it have to be this complicated with all this extra equipment? No. It doesn't, but I wanted to try something different, and you know, what the hell, YOLO, right? Uh, so I'm going to get this all set up, get over there, and then we will... This is an in-game truck, by the way, before anyone thinks about asking. It's an in-game truck. All you guys can use it. Uh, unfortunately, it is going to be limited on the speed, but, you know, it is what it is. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to get all this set up over there, and then we'll see if we can get some logs processed. The idea is to maybe get a route for course play. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. But uh, then we'll get over to the sand, because I have a system over there as well. It's probably not the most efficient, but it works. It works. So, and I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. Come on, are you gonna... There you go, come on. Wasn't sure if he was gonna start going or not. Won't let it... It won't go up any higher. That sucks. I can bring it down all I want, but... Ah, uh, there it goes. Just doesn't want to go up. Now, come on, I know you can go faster than that. What, are you stuck behind cars? Yes, you are. You still doing seventeen point four? 17.5, 6, he doesn't want to go anywhere. Huh. Well, come on, bud. Hammer down a little bit, would you? Alright. Let me try this. I know this thing can go faster than that. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't want to. Wow. Too much weight, maybe? Get there eventually. I wonder if it is the trailer here that's causing this thing to go this slow. I can only imagine that it is. Might as well try to load this up on a freaking low boy or something and carry it. It was going to take a sweet ass time getting to where it needs to go. I could try a different truck. I probably will. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I might as well bring up something else to YouTube. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, I had complaints from a few people, and then not so many, you know. And it, 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 not everyone had the issue. I don't know if it's going to happen with uh, episode 5, which is uploading as we speak, and it's, you know, same with this one. But there's, I don't know if there, I think it's an issue with YouTube. Uh, ATS. Even though I render at 1080p, uh, record at 1440, render down, it was only able to be viewed at uh, 360p. So, that's no bueno. That's not good. Um, so hopefully this video and episode 5 don't are not affected by that. But as I'm looking over at... Um, the browser that's uploading right now. I use Google Chrome to upload to YouTube. It's taking forever to process. That has me a little worried. I am honestly a little worried right now. Um, let me get rid of my follower. That uh, this is, again, not going to render correctly. And, you know, it could be another low-quality video. So, I might try to re-upload again if that's the case, but, yeah, it's got to be the trailer. It's got to be the trailer that's causing that. But, uh, yeah, if you guys are seeing that, just know it isn't me. It's YouTube that's doing it, and apparently it's a bug from what some people have said, and now it's affecting me. So, not cool, not happy about it. Um... 
Yeah, is what it is. It's just another black eye, in my opinion, for YouTube. And one of many black eyes that they have been giving themselves as of late. Uh, I think right about here is good. So let's shut you down. Let me try this truck. Another stock in-game truck. Is it going to have an issue with this? Yep. Just doesn't want to pull it. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, get that ass end up. So I've got plenty of logs here already stockpiled. I had to do a lot of this off camera because it was just, there was some lag issues. I think also as well, while I was working on all of this, there was uh, a rendering in the background as well. So, uh, wasn't going very well. So decided to go ahead and clean all this up and just redo it. I'm just going to redo it. Screw it. So, you know, so here we go. You guys didn't miss much. I brought everything over here. I ended up cutting a lot of them down in half. Um, because it was just too much for that John Deere to handle. Yeah, they were just falling all over the place. The John Deere was tipping all over the place. Let's get an end cap. Let's see how this looks here. Let me retract this. And let's extend the cut. Right about there. Let's see how that does. Now, I don't think this is also a mod that's going to work very well on multiplayer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I push myself back over here? No, not No, 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 wrong way, wrong way. What are you doing? Whoa. Easy, easy. There. That didn't happen in the video review. Ooh, whoa, whoa. What is going on with the jittering? That didn't happen in the video review either. Is there something I'm missing here? Or putting down some legs or something? Or I don't think so. Get down. Get down. Come on. Why are you stuck up in the air? Hmm? Yeah, that log's glitchy and bouncing all over the place. See if I can slide these down all the way in here. That looks like a, as good as it's gonna get. So let's fire this thing up. Let's give it a shot. And I'm gonna extend it a little bit more. Glitch much? Oh yeah, I can definitely extend that cut out some more. Can definitely extend it out some more. 
And we've got some bits and pieces down there as well. Oh, that's as far as it goes. Okay. Stop. Is there something I'm missing here? I don't think so. Oh, it doesn't help that that log glitched itself right underneath. Can I get this one out? At this time, I don't know if I can really recommend this mod. Wow. No, I don't want to go forward. I want to... I'm trying to put myself down. But the joystick keeps on... Hey, just slide. No. Just slide. There. Wow. Yeah, I've heard of issues with FDR stuff before. People have complained about it before. I know it's definitely not something you want to use on multiplayer. Desync heaven. Come on. Alright, maybe this is not going to be the way to go here. I can't keep this thing down. It doesn't want to stay. There might be a key binding I'm missing, but nothing's showing up here in the help menu. Come on, get off of there. I'm just like dyslexic here with the joystick. I'm doing everything opposite of what I want to do. And I wish it would sit straight, too. It doesn't want to. That's rather annoying, too. It will not sit level. Phew. In case anyone's wondering, I am the one controlling the saw.
It's not pretty, but it'll work. Can I reach all the way out there? I don't think so. What if I slide you guys back in? Yeah, that's not going to work either. So I'll just drop you off. There you go. Get the hell off. That one log still just wants to cause me issues. Oh, wrong one. There we go. There it goes. Now I threw it. Good. Get the hell out of here. Head tracker works with this too, that's nice. Trying to, there we go. I like the concept of doing this, but the equipment is, no offense to FDR, subpar. No offense to him or anyone else that's fans of his, but... Not like I'm just glitching through the whole damn table. I'm moving the saw back and forth like that just in case it misses. 
you know, if a log glitches out or something and it doesn't fully cut the log. Let's do one more and then I'll just move on I can't spend all day here doing this I mean I, I, I am actually given it's given the issues I, I really am actually enjoying doing this it is a challenge it kind of does provide you know provide that little bit of realism which is one thing I, I told myself I kind of wanted to do with this new series come on slide in There we go. Wasn't that difficult, was it? Uh, let's see. I don't think I can really reach any of these others. I do. I got a. I got a couple. That one's a shorty. Whoa, 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 what is going on here? Well, uh. What are you doing? You are like going through the cab here. Whoa, you went through me. Holy crap. Come on, just roll over a little bit, would you? Good enough. All right, I think that got everything. Shut that down, because that is kind of a mess. I don't see any landing gear or whatever. Oh, hello. Lag spike, how you doing? So we got some logs to clean up, too. <laughs> so let's get this guy... I'm just gonna run him over to Cogent and park him there, I think. I'll come back and offload him another time. I'll have to investigate that thing too. That just doesn't seem right that it's jumping around like that and I'm able to manhandle it as easy as I did there. That something just doesn't seem right. Max table length, cut the wood, cut the lumber just right. I'm happy with the length. That looks good. Maybe just a little fine tuning, maybe a little adjustment to it so I can get used to it, and maybe we're going to be in business. But I do like that setup. Now it's just I need to get a better skitter. Uh, I can't let the bunk get that big. 
the, the pile of wood, and I can't let it get that big, so and out of hand. But we'll get her. You let me know, guys, in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more of that. Do you want to see me continue to struggle? 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 A struggle with talking? No. A struggle with, uh, you know, getting that kind of setup going? You know, maybe get a, a skitter rather than just the grapple in the back of the, the tractor and, you know, try to go along the lines of a little more realistic logging. Or just say screw it, get the Ponzi, use the front loader, done. Easy peasy. I could go either way. I could. I mean, kind of leaning with... And I need to talk to my buddy Rubberside Down, because he's he's the logger. He's the logging guy, so... Uh, I need to get a hold of him and see what he might have to offer, because KST, the one that makes this pit log trailer is actually in his discord as well so i need to talk to those guys see what they have available and uh maybe i can get some new logging mods in here for you guys to check out uh of course i don't like showing off private mods so you're not gonna have to worry about that but um you know if i can get some of that stuff in here i'm sure you guys might be interested in that yes all right i think i will leave him right here for now so let's jump over to the sand pit and what I have going on over here. Bam! You guys saw the thumbnail? There it is. We've got our own little sand set up. How much we got in here? 41,000. Okay. Um, so I found these Batco auger shoots. Auger, um... Oh, hell, I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head. Batco manufacturing. Um, these conveyor belts, yeah. There are two piece. You got the long shoot part here, and then the offload drop point right here, and that feeds into this bucket right here, or baskets. Um, usually used for you know grain, some you know things along those lines, but uh, it works in this. It works in this case. You do have to climb into this one. Let me start the engine, and let me pipe in, then back out. That way to yep jack stand. All right. And then there you go. You just got to turn it on and you're done. Um, it does say it is driven by the tractor. You can see the yellow pipe right there, the drive shaft. So it is driven by that tractor. I bought a couple of cheapies. They're $45,000. So, you know, done. Easy peasy. Um, but so far, so good. The They don't handle a lot very fast. Now this one here is going to handle it. You can see, up in, I don't know if you guys can see Glance, but Glance right now is showing the backhoe is on, the engine is on, so we're going to just pull up here, dump off. Now it's full right now, 10,000 inside that backhoe. This is what it's holding, it's 10,000. It's getting dumped off into here, and we're getting dumped off into there, and now obviously that's not... This is like 49,000 is what it holds. Now the downside coming up here is the offload point. Because it only holds 10,000 and that auger conveyor belt is not the fastest around. Damn it, the train's going again. I forgot I left the map. Damn it! Get back over here.
park the train, kill it, and come over here and do this one again. Yeah, since I left the map, I have to redo all this. So, fire you up. Drop you back down again. There we go. And let's turn you on. Alright. Get back over here. You're full. Now, obviously, if you guys want to use the 70,000 liter PSM trailer, you can. But still, it isn't going to speed up the offloading process here. It's still going to take a while because the main chute here, the main offload point, is still limited to 10,000. And the auger itself is not very fast. So let's drive right up and over. And you will get an offload point here. It's a very small trigger. So take it easy. There you go. Start offloading. And there we go into the train. Now that thing right now is at 99.93. So it's 99% full. And it is showing 1% of sand over on the tractor, which is the main the main chute here, the main conveyor belt. 120 is what's going through, so maybe the speed's a little slow, I don't know. But yeah, here's the slow part now. 30,000. It just takes forever. Now, there is another option, too. You guys probably could try to string together a boatload of these all the way over here. In which case, hey, I can't even walk under. There we go. I mean, I would think you're looking at... I mean, these are longer than the normal conveyor belts in-game. I mean, you could probably do this one. This one reaches out pretty far. But these right here? No, they don't. The, these, this one here is longer than these. So I wonder, if you used this one, because it's got the longer reach, you'd offload to here, this offloads into this, which offloads into another one, you'd probably need... Oh, oof, oof. seven? Yeah, I would say probably seven of them. thinking something. Alright, hang on a second. Be right back. Alright guys, here we go. Time to go ahead and test out this new system. So we're going to load up with a load of sand. Come on over and dump it right off. Jump out and bam! There we go. Nine of these things all total, including one grim or grime. Awesome. <laughs> Spent more money than I expected or wanted to, but I can sell off one of the, the Heidelman tractors that I picked up, so that'll net me like $40,000 back, but no more trucking it. Just come on down, hook everything up, turn it on, and then go. This one's just sitting here. It's not hooked up to anything, so I can actually move this. Turn you off. And there we go. Offload right into the train. That's just freaking cool. Now, just like other powered vehicles, if you stop using these for a prolonged period of time, they will turn off. So, keep that in mind. But fortunately, you're going to be able to see which one's not working because obviously there will be a break in the chain and it's not offloading into the next one. Uh, the one on the end did that to me a couple of times. 
So, getting a little bouncy. That is one thing to keep your eye on. So maybe keep a small tractor over here just in case so you can, you know, just drive up, turn the belt back on, and good to go. There's two different ways to do that. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. Once I get this one going here. Okay, so you can come along with your tractor and hook up right here. There's a hook up right there. You can just back right up, or if you get on uh, the uh, attachment on the front, you can just drive straight in, hook up to it. It could move this belt out of position. Keep that in mind, uh, which would, you know, off center your offload point here, and then you can turn it on and whatever. Or you can come over and just hook up right there, and as if you were towing it. You can hook up right there, turn it on, you're good to go. Go to the next one, turn it on. That's the only tedious thing, is I'm going to leave that Heidelman tractor over here. And so that way, when it's time for me to go ahead and do more sand, turn on, turn on, turn on. I'll probably dump a load in first, and then turn on and go all the way through, if they're not on. And then I'll be able to load up a whole train car. We're getting there. We're getting close right now. We're at 206,000. So I know that second car is full when I reach 240,000, but I'm happy with this. It's it's crazy, it's overkill, but uh, I love it. And I'm probably going to do the same thing over in the gravel pit, but I'll use that Grim or Grime. I, I can't remember off the top of my head which one it is. It's not something I've said in a long time, but uh, I will probably end up using that one because I can unfold it and then swing it, pivot left and right, and. With that, I can go ahead and set up one of these auger, auger conveyor belts that go to the train, to load the train up with gravel, or I can pivot the other way and have it go to the wash plant and fill that up with gravel. So two different ways to go about it, and I think that'll be kind of cool. I mean, it's, it is more towards what it is in the real world anyway. You know, you're going, conveyor belts not quite like this one, they're more like the other ones that are in-game, just bigger, more expensive, more expansive. And, uh, yeah, like, uh, let's see. Like these guys right here. They're more like these. But those are too short, and I don't have the ability to drive underneath them like I do right here. I can go underneath any of these if I need to come in or out. So, I think this is a better setup. Until there is another conveyor system that we can put in that would do this work. Now, one thing I do wonder... Hmm... I don't think it would work. I mean, look at the placeables. Oh, I don't have it, do I? Yep, there it is. Oh, it takes wood chips and that's it. Doesn't take <laughs> 300,000 liter capacity on this. That would be freaking perfect. I could put this right next to the railroad, railroad to the train there, offload right here into the, bun, into the bin, not enough money and then it can offload right into the train. That would be epically perfect, but it doesn't accept sand. So I will probably try to keep an eye out for something that can do, some, you know, what I just described there. And that would be pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, looks like we're just about full. 30, 234,000. I'll start working on another bucket. So I'll move that train up and then we will have all the sand we need. Then we can go ahead and start taking that over to PJs. We're going to need stone and gravel as well. So need to get that going. i um, going to have to put a water spigot over there at... Uh, PJs as well, and then uh, get the water tanker, maybe a bigger one than the one I have, that would be ideal, but uh, need to get that set up so we can get PJs up and running, let me shut that off, there we go, 240,000, 
Come on. There, no. There. Excellent. The chain of... <laughs> that is just cool. I'm loving it. I don't care if it's not realistic to you guys or whatever. It, I think it's pretty awesome. I'm loving it. So, I think that's where I will end this episode here. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Is there a better conveyor system than what I currently have here? Uh, I will definitely take a look at it. Is there a storage system? Like I just pointed out, that uh, little green elevator. Uh, is there a storage system I can use? Or maybe I can have Cass edit that one as well. And uh, we can use that for sand and gravel. Most, at least sand. At least sand. Um, but yeah, uh, also the logging stuff too. If you guys would like to see a little more realistic logging setup, or do you just want me to say screw it, stick with what works, which is the Ponzi Scorpion, and go from there, let me know down there in the comments. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure you check down on the link for the mods I used here today. I will try to remember to link everything that I used here down there. We do have the link down there for the server, which has most of the mods that you guys saw here, but the, ba the belt will be linked down there and I'll try to remember to put the John Deere either down there or in the server mods list. Also down there are links to Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Make sure you jump on over there, like, follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you liked this video, smash that like button. If you didn't, we'll do the opposite and don't forget to su subscribe here on YouTube. I'm trying to put out two or three farms and videos a week for you guys. So thank you all for watching once again. Hopefully you enjoyed. Until next time, take it easy.